Hey guys, Baze here back with another video. I hope you guys had a nice 4th of July. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to bring the Bell 429 turbine helicopter um, to a start from cold and dark. This is a pretty cool helicopter. They have a lot of cool features in here and a lot of extras you can um, configure. But I'm just going to be showing you guys how to start this up. I might do more videos on this later, don't know yet. But uh, to get started, let's go ahead and turn on the battery. Throw on the fuel pumps. Let everything uh, initialize here. And we're going to want to be um, watching this screen here. So before we turn any engines on or anything, let's go back and turn our lights on to let people know we are starting up. I'm going to throw in all of them on right now. This is armed. Our pulse and strobe should be on. Now to start up, we want to turn engine one to the run and then flip the switch to the start position. The throttle is closed as I'm doing this, as you can see. You don't have to mess with any of this right now. And you can see all the switches right here. All right, so the turbine engine is warming up. Once this flips back, then we can uh, turn our generators on. Let's add a little throttle here. There we go. Perfect, it's switched back. So I'm gonna let this peak and then come back and stabilize and then we can start the second engine. All right, watch this rise. So dual gen, oil pressure, fuel pressure. As this is coming back down, you can turn the generator on. Turn this to the run position and also start the uh, second engine. Watch these rise, both of these arrows should uh, be in the same position here. Watch the view from the outside. Pretty cool. I really like this helicopter, it's really in depth. All right, so this swap back to the middle. Go ahead and turn that generator on as well. Looks like everything is stabilized. Let's try to make sure these are lined up properly, just like that. All right, and to take off, I have my uh, throttle collective, two different settings. So I'm gonna put the throttle probably about 75, 80%. I'm gonna raise the collective ever so slightly. Hold in a little anti-torque pedal as I raise that collective, raise the nose off. Try to be a little smoother than that. Thinks I was landing. All right, and as we raise off, go ahead and do a clearing turn. All right, and we did get clearance from the tower, so we can go ahead a little bit more throttle, bring the collective up a tad bit more, nose over, and then head out in the direction we want. And also, if you're wondering why it's kind of shaking weird around the camera, it's because I have the uh, head shake plug in from SimCoders, and I also have a video on that. But I hope you guys did enjoy that video. Uh, pretty quick and simple on a really cool helicopter. So if you did enjoy that, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you next time.